Hi, John Ason, Director of Instruction down here at 3D Golf Performance. And I want to talk to you today about your transition and the sequence of your transition in the downswing. Most golfers that we teach get this wrong, and it's quite often the, the effect of a poor backswing plane, whether it be with their arms or the golf club. In other words, the golf club gets bent inside and the transition to make their downswing is a throwaway motion and they can't use their lower body properly to create the right sequence. So what I want to show you is that as the arms are traveling in your backswing in the correct routing up around mid to chest height the actual sequence starts back down. So in, in, in the motion that is traveling this way with the arms and the club and the hands are doing most of the movement, the lower body actually starts to shift back to the left. This is our weight transfer and this is how we carry the angles back. So it looks like this face on. I'm traveling in one direction with my arms, hands, and club, finishing the cocking of my shoulders, and my lower body starts to sequence back to the left. And part of that is simply I'm helping stop the momentum of the club and hands and arms going in this direction. The other part of it is I have to create a sequence to develop leg pressure and weight transfer and the timing of that is vital so you'll see every good player with the proper sequence now to practice this for a lot of you it's it's a challenge and it's a challenge because it's in the middle of your swing and there's a lot going on and it's fast so what you want to do is you want to take your feet bring them together maybe a few inches apart, so an abnormally narrow stance. We call it a finesse stance in the short game. You may want to practice this holding the club down just to make sure that you don't injure your joints, elbows and wrists, because you'll be doing quite a few of these. So what I want you to do is I want you to start halfway back or midway back like this, and I want you to feel now as the club starts to go up vertically, with your hands being the source of the motion, cocking your shoulders, you'll sense that when your hands start to really feel like they're getting a little bit higher than chest level, they're actually going back towards the target. And in that case, it's starting to tilt your spine back towards the target. Well, you don't want to let it tilt your spine back towards the target. You want to step and catch that momentum and start your downswing. So one to two, your step in position here or midway back. And then as you go up, midway through your upswing, when your hands start to feel like the club is going towards the target, your hands start to go towards the target, you finish cocking your shoulders, and you feel the sense that you might fall a little left, step into it. So it's almost like a baseball player getting ready to create that lag and, and step in and get the barrel of the bat around. Very similar athletic motion to throwing the ball. A step, a pivot, and the release. So. It's not uncommon in athletics, but it may be unfamiliar to a lot of golfers out there. And we see it here quite often. So one more time from face on, feet together, our midway back position, and then start moving the hands up. And as your hands start to go up enough and start stressing your spine to tilt back towards the target, you're gonna catch yourself and you're gonna step in with your left foot.
Midway back, up, and step in. Wonderful drill to create a feel for that sequence and the connection between the hands and arms traveling up and the lower body starting to move to support the stress on the spine. Down the line it looks like this. Again, I'll always hold my club short, feet together in the finesse stance, uh, one to two. I like to position it in a good spot here. And then as I start to go up, you'll see about mid-height through my chest and the hand starting to go back towards the target. I feel the stress as my shoulders cock on my spine to actually step in. When I step in, I can feel the club is in balance and it's going to be traveling down, not out. So one to two, I'm going to be going up. As I'm going up, I make that step with my left foot and make sure that your step with your left foot is not real big, it's just the usual shoulder width kind of stance that you're going to be replacing that left foot to where it normally would be had you started with that width of stance. So good luck with that drill. Enjoy the hit.